The first question we asked Captain Cousteau was what he thinks the concept of Involvement Day is. So whatever the political opinions of people, they should unite on a few objects, which is the preservation of life on the planet and the improvement of the quality of life for the future generations. Now, we, are, we have been doing exactly the contrary. Those of my generation have been abusing the planet. What we hope is that the new generation will turn the tide around. Since the creation of the Cousteau Society, what goals do you think have been attained and which still remain? Well, I think we have contributed to, uh, to a certain degree, uh, which is difficult to measure, but I think rather substantial, to the uh, diffusion of basic ideas. Uh, for example, that uh, uh, you should not put um, all, the, um, all the facts of, the, of our time uh, in the same basket, that there are some very important things, things that are irreparable, and some things that have only a temporary or local importance. Uh, also, we have uh, contributed to scientific research with NASA, with Texas A&M, with uh, uh, other universities. And uh, <coughs> we have contributed to school children education by an association with uh, NEA, by um, uh, the production of film strips and of uh, free books and uh, study prints and uh, manuals for teachers, etc., which have helped, uh, how to say, generalize a better understanding of what the ocean is. At the elementary level, it means, uh, we're starting from practically zero. Most of the, of the teachers even uh, knew very little about the ocean a few years ago. Now, you know the National uh, Education Association has a membership of 1,900,000 teachers. So through them, we are, we are influencing uh, the kids. You've had Involvement Day or something similar in other uh, cities around. Uh, this will be the first time such an event has happened in the city of Houston. first part of the question is, uh, how has it been received in the other cities, and what do you expect uh, the results of this day will have on uh, the way Houston citizens look at their environment and their situation? Uh, <coughs> we had three Involvement Days in the past, one uh, last year, one in, um, in Florida, in Lakeland, it was very well received. In Anaheim, in Orange County, it was even better organized and more interesting. And in the Great Lakes, where uh, we uh, were for the first time dealing with freshwater systems, which was a new approach to us. In the three places, we have succeeded, A, in bringing about large crowds. Uh, between four and 8,000 people according to the places. Here we expect to have even more in Houston. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, <coughs> but the most important thing maybe is that in the preparation of each one of these three involvement days, I've been working hand in hand with all the local organizations. And uh, many of these organizations were seclusive, they were working alone, they ignored what the, uh, their colleagues were doing, and even in some cases they were in rivalry and in open fight. Uh, one of the biggest results is that we have succeeded in every instance to uh, unify them. We work together in the preparation of the involvement days with no problem whatsoever. There was a complete cohesion and uh, I have learned since then that this cohesion has remained, that they have carried on behind us. So we've left the area leaving a trail of efficiency. So I think that is very important for us. That's gratifying for us, very gratifying. In Houston, uh, we have a very exceptionally favorable ground 
due to the fact that um, the major problem of this country is the energy problem. In the world, it's only the third more important uh, problem. But here in this country, it's the number one because you don't have the two first ones. You don't have population problems. You don't have food problems. But you do have an energy problem. And it is here in Houston that all the elements are uh, really gathered to solve the problem. Uh, you have the tradition, you have the uh, resources, and you have the brain power. And I think uh, also uh, every year you have the specialists of energy of the entire world meeting in the Astrodome. So um, I believe that uh, if uh, solutions are going to be uh, developed, it is probably here that they will be implemented first. So uh, we are very much interested to come here and discuss this matter with her. I was going to say, how does the business community react usually? It would seem that Houston might not be very receptive to an environmental um, event kind of thing because of the oil business that is here. Okay. I'll answer you to, to this question in the following way. Um, there is something true in what you say, but I don't think it will work that way. Because our society's policy, and it's now well known, is a constructive attitude. We do not want to go back to uh, cave life and candles. Uh, we believe in progress and in science and in technology. What we deplore is that the elements of progress, science and technology, were misused or abused uh, by political powers or economic powers. But we are pro a progressive kind of environmentalist. We want to um, progress the right way. Uh, and it is, we know, because we have explored this, we know that all the solutions are on the shelf. And it is only through science and technology that we can correct the abuses that we have done in the past. So a new assessment of the problems, a new evaluation of the quality of the solutions, and a new decision-making system in the higher spheres will bring about a solution. Now, the uh, business community has been reluctant to listen to uh, hostile, hostile uh, environmentalists. And I understand them. Uh, what we are offering the business community is a comprehensive link. We do not want the business community to carry on spreading lies, like you have to choose between environment and jobs, which is a lie because the environmental care develops new industry and creates new jobs. So that we want the business community to play the game with progressive environmentalists and together to uh, develop the solutions for our uh, future. One more very quickly. Uh, I understand that there's an oil spill somewhere in the world every day. Now, after you certainly have spent your life with the oceans, are you generally optimistic about our possibility of saving the oceans? Uh, I, uh, I know. I'm optimistic in the, in, the, in the fact that all the solutions are on the shelf. I'm rather pessimistic uh, only because it will be very difficult to obtain... Uh, the right decisions from the majority of nations. Uh, it's obvious that if one single country does the right thing and all the others are destroying what, uh, what, what is left, it's not going to bring about a good, a good uh, solution. So harmonizing the world's regulations is going to be very tough, and that is the main obstacle that I see. Thank you very much, Dr. Cousteau. That's Dr. Jacques Cousteau, who will be speaking at Involvement Day, February 12th at the Albert Thomas Convention Center. KTRU will have live coverage all afternoon from the Thomas Convention Center. From the Thomas Convention.